So before when I was shuffling, the justice card slid out and I was trying to get it to slide back in and I couldn't get it for a second. So, and I feel like that I needed to say that because it's really important about what I'm seeing in this spread. I feel like something very unjust, something that you feel was very unfair happened. It's definitely a missed opportunity and you're feeling like you didn't get what you put into a situation. What you felt would have been fair in a situation because somebody was being selfish. Um, and then, of course, we have the Seven of Swords. So this is betrayal, deception. And right before that, we have the Five of Wands, which is competition, jealousy, envy. And we also have the Five of Cups, which is regret and sorrow. So... Shit definitely went, either went down in the past, in the recent past, or it will go down this week that you're not going to view as fair. Let me get some clarifiers. Tell me about the Four of Cups. So this has to do with the King of Wands. Um, in this particular Four of Cups, this isn't being presented to this person, this cup. I feel like it's this, this person's daydreaming about this cup, even though they have three cups in front of them. So it's almost like Again, five of wands at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like whoever this king of wands is could be a fire sign or it could just be somebody taking on the fire energy. Wasn't, like, it's almost like what you had to offer wasn't good enough for them because they were selfish, because they wanted more and more. And the thing that's kind of pissing you off is you gave and gave and gave so much of yourself to this person and never got anything in return. And they're the ones who are, who is bored with this offer. It's like a huge slap in the face. Tell me about the four, uh, six of coins. It's queen of wands, the star, and the two of cups. So this person probably left you for somebody else. Even though you put in all this effort with this person, it was never good enough. Tell me about the four of coins. The Empress reversed. So it could be doing with a Taurus or a Libra. But um, this person was very selfish and kept taking from you. They knew that you were a nurturing person, that you were a very generous person, that you would, they felt like you would always be there for them. You have the chariot at the bottom of the deck, that's your energy. Excuse me, oh my gosh, my acid reflux is so bad today. But... They never, it's like they never had any intentions of reciprocating. They only were there to take advantage of you. Because they knew how giving you were, how much you loved them, how nurturing you were. They felt like you would always be there to take care of them, even if they chose somebody else. Tell me about the tower. Two of coins. 
with the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person was juggling either people or a decision. And their ultimate choice ended up with you feeling betrayed. Tell me about the Five of Cups. The Queen of Cups. So this is definitely you sitting in sorrow, sitting in regret, crying over all the love that you don't, that you never got in return from this person. And I'm just gonna, I don't need to clarify this Two of Swords. I feel like this is the other person. They made a choice blindly. This card to me is telling me that they thought the grass was greener on the other side. And my theory on that is you should have watered your own damn lawn. Simple as that. You water your fucking lawn, you cut it, it will be green. So it doesn't matter where you go, whatever green lawn you take up, it's going to end up brown anyway because you don't know how to take care of your fucking lawn. Something about the five of wands. Tower. With the six of swords at the bottom of the deck. So you have the tower twice here. So I feel like you're both going through a tower moment. You're going through a tower moment because you're feeling betrayed. You're feeling used. You're feeling just plain hurt that you put in all this effort for him to choose somebody else, him or her. Just going off the genders and the cards. And they're going through a tower moment because I feel like they're realizing the grass wasn't greener. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Clarify. Two of Swords wants to pop out again. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please. Two of Wands. So they made a choice. They chose a different path. And now they're going to have to live with that choice because I feel like you're fed up. You're done. You don't want to put in any effort anymore. You're still sitting in loss and betrayal, or, or sitting in loss and regret and feeling betrayed. But I truly feel like you're going to be done with this because you realize you have other options. You don't have to put up with this. You will find somebody who will not only appreciate your kindness and generosity and nurturing nature, but they will reciprocate. They'll take care of you too. So let me get you some final advice. See where you should be directing your energy for the next week. Final advice for Cancer from May 9th through the 16th, 2019. Mermaid with Pink Lotus. That is card number one. Where is it? All right. Divination message. Make an effort to relax. Stop what you are doing and take a deep breath. It's time to relax. You are not selfish and that can be a blessing. Helping your loved ones is an important part of who you are, but sometimes it is okay to set aside your worries about others and take some time for yourself. Maybe you are feeling stressed or overwhelmed. Try not to let it wear you down. Instead, try these relaxing techniques to improve your health and well-being. 1. Close your eyes and imagine a personal paradise. What do you see, hear, and feel? Let yourself become engulfed in these sensations, allowing your breathing to become slow and even, and notice your energy flow throughout your body. This will help you feel refreshed and rejuvenated. 
Two, take a hint from our mermaid friend and let yourself be soothed by calming water. A walk near a beach or a lake or a rest near a bubbling fountain can bring inner tranquility. Three, are you finding it difficult to relax? A change in environment can be most helpful in reducing stress. A short getaway for some pampering at a spa could be just what your body and mind need to chase away that stress. So, oops. If you are feeling like it'll be selfish of you to stop giving to this person, um, it won't be. You ha They have sucked you dry of all your energy, and it's time for you to replenish. And you wouldn't need to replenish if this person was giving to you just as much as you were giving to them. So don't feel like you're being selfish by not helping this person out anymore. Um, it looks like they chose somebody else with two queens here. This is definitely you and this is somebody else. So it's time for you to focus on you right now and heal from the past and get yourself back up to... So... I feel like this has to do with a divine partnership. And when I say divine partnership, I mean like a partnership that is kind of part of your destiny. That is going to require a lot of work and you're kind of just in a waiting period right now, a little confused on where to go next, um, but there is communication with this person. Um, trying to trying to work things out. Um, with the, the Master of Flames, which would be the King of Wands, reversed at the bottom of the deck, I feel like um, this could be a person who was a little insecure in the past, possibly um, had a little bit of redirected or misdirected passions, possibly could have been dealing with a third party in the past, but you're slowly starting to work through that. Um, and realizing this is going to be a hard process, but I feel like you're willing to give it a shot. So tell me about the Three of Flames. So we have the Queen of Swords, Nine of Coins, and Five of Cups. So you're trying, you possibly cut this person out. Um, you know, maybe this person hasn't um, really worked through those insecurities or that misdirected passion yet and right now you're at a point where you just need to focus on yourself focus on your stability um there's a little bit of you know holding on to the the petty holding on to what happened holding on to all these cups right here that are broken and you know gripping on to these two cups that are left but um, I am just going to throw this out there. If this is a twin flame that we're speaking of, right now you're kind of in a waiting period, waiting for this person to come back around. But I feel like you're on the verge of the detachment part, you know, the part where you're finally letting go of the idea that it has to be a certain way, if that makes sense. Tell me about the Seven of Chalices. Oops. So we had the Four of Swords. Um, you could be isolating yourself right now, um, which is a very heavy Cancer trait. Um, 
possibly trying to, you know, recuperate. Maybe you just spent a few days out with friends and you just need to regain your, um, you know, build up your charge or whatever. But the isolation is what's keeping you confused, is what's keeping you from really detaching from this person. It's keeping you thinking about all, all that's happened in the past. Tell me about divine justice. Ace of Swords. So I feel like clarity is coming, um, especially with the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. So again, could be isolating yourself, but this isolation is giving you the clarity that you need, realizing that what this person did to you is something that you need to heal over and you need to learn to detach if you want this to ever come back together. Um, you don't ever have to lose hope, um, but it can't be something that takes over your life, if that makes sense. Tell me about the Ten of Flames. And that goes for anyone who's not dealing with a Twin Flame at this time as well. You know, as long as you're holding on so tightly to that person, you know, you're preventing them from starting their healing process and working through the issues that they need to work through because part of your healing process is learning to let go of the sorrow or the guilt and heal over what happened to you. Tell me about the Ten of Flames. I'm not going to take all these but I'm going to look at them. So you have Page of Wands, Seven of Wands, Ton of Cups, King of Swords, Four of Coins. So you could have been dealing with an unrequited love. Somebody who is very selfish, only thinking of themselves. And <clears throat> possibly had their guard up and wasn't ready to commit because they were fearing commitment. Tell me about the Ten of Flames. Why is the Ten of Flames here for Cancer? King of Swords. <coughs> so, <coughs> tell me about the King of Swords, please. Okay, I don't need to clarify this. I think I know what it means. Um, if you are struggling with a healing process, it could be possibly time for you to talk to a counselor. Um, not because you need to work through mental illnesses or anything like that, although that is a very important reason to go talk to a counselor, but because this is a burden you don't have to carry on your own. Um, there are people in your environment who will help you get through this. You just have to learn to reach out when you need the help. Tell me about the Seeker of Orbs. I'm not going to take it, but we're going to look at it. We have Justice, King of Cups, Queen of Coins, King of Coins. So, it could have been the female the feminine that had two partners. Or this could be that you as a female are almost thinking of getting back at this person. Or another way I could look at this is you realize that this person isn't coming in at this time so but there is somebody else in your environment so in order to help you heal or to, so that you don't have to feel lonely you're um, possibly seeking out a relationship with that person who is in your environment tell me about the secret of orbs Nine of Swords. 
Um, it could be out of fear <clears throat> that you are seeking a relationship with somebody else at this time. A fear of being alone, a fear of, you know, being lonely. Um, but I feel like that wouldn't be necessarily the correct way to do it because then that, you know, leaves a void open for codependency. So, I mean, it's all up to you, but I'm just going to throw that out there. Codependency could be an issue here. Tell me about the Six of Chalices. Six of Wands. So, this person that you're dealing with could be acting out of, you know, their their physical body more than their mental or spiritual. This They could be working off of ego rather than um, their soul. You have Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So... You do see a future with this person, but at this time, they have insecurities that they need to work through. They have to learn to balance out their ego and their soul, and at this time, they're not doing that. And if you are seeking out a relationship just because you don't want to be alone, that's something you'll need to work through as well. So let's get you some final advice for the next week. Oh my goodness. So final advice for cancer. That was quick. Hmm. I believe this is the Femme Fatale card. All right, attraction, magnetism, infatuation. For every man, there exists a bait which he cannot resist swallowing. It is the femme fatale card. Oh my goodness. This card portrays a seductive and alluring femme fatale. At some point, we have all met her in some guise or gender. Possibly not even in a human form, but as a situation, a place, or an invitation to act. We are attracted irresistibly like moths to a flame. We may even be cog cognizant of how ill-advised it would be to fall for her charms. Ironically, that suspicion of danger may even add to her allure, allure like some complimentary adornment. In casting caution to the wind, we are driven and motivated, but attraction alone can be shallow. A temporary infatuation with little substance. Such an emotion not only lacks duration, but long with brevity. It is also fraught with danger and repercussions. And despite it all, we cannot entirely reject her. We look once more, and yes, she is still there, still, still alluring, still beckoning. So... Either you're the femme fatale, trying to be alluring, trying to be, trying to attract in the wrong kind of energy, or this master of flames reverse is like a catalyst here. Like, you probably thought it was your soulmate, your twin flame, but it's not. It's all up to you to decide, but somebody here has red flags attached to them and you know sometimes when we think we love somebody enough we don't see them as red flags we just see them as flags so try to try to really soul search on this one and see if this person that you're so attached to that you're trying to you know wait for is a catalyst or if, you know, this new person that you're trying to, you know, get over the loneliness with is the catalyst. So, <coughs> you 
interesting read, Cancer. 